Welcome to the Whiskey Podcast. It's Rare Whiskey Friday. Is it now? It is. Thursday. It's Rare Whiskey Thursday. We usually do it on a Friday, but calendar. Friday. It's not going to be a rare. Just, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Just relax. Calm down. Oh. And we have a selection, an entire selection from, as of the date of these bottles, patron saint Mike Callahan. So this is what we're doing. Do you have clinking bottles? There you go. Mike Callahan, you your patron saint of whiskey. Okay, so two of these are the same, uh -huh. the same spirit. Oh, but they're different batches, and I'm assuming oh, that he's a little bit of batch them, comparison. Yeah, batch comparison. Oh no, 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 no! Wait, who do stout? That might be a stout finished one. They're both light whiskey, but one. But that's just one is five months old, one is four months old, and oh. one is finished in stout barrels. Maybe that's just written on. Yeah, everything's written on though, age and batch and all that. Can you do that? Yeah. Yeah, you can handwrite shit on there. Okay. When you submit it to TTB, it has to have something in that space. Right. But then once you actually release it, you can change those things. We're gonna start with an AB comparison of the light whiskeys. This is, by the way, Arctic Harvest. This yeah. is Arctic Spirits. This is, remember we did these guys a little bit ago. It was a um, the Alaskan distillery. <laughs> the yeah, the Alaskan distillery. Remember the Alaskans? So I started looking up their distillery. Right, I, I don't. Yeah, I started. I'll, I pulled it out. It's, it's over lot, here. It's a lot of whiskey. Somewhere. Okay. If I uh, pulled it out, you'd recognize it. Okay. Um, but I started researching this Alaskan distillery because it's kind of funny because they, um, you know what? I'm gonna. It's safety first. I'm gonna get two new glasses. Um, the front one is the non-stout four months. The back one is the stout. Using the scoot key. Ah, dude, I totally overshot that trying to be safe. Okay. <laughs> it went right across my eyelash. Okay, so I like this distillery because they are act actually a farm distillery, yeah. these guys. Like, they use a lot of their own grain. Oh. They're out there. If you're on their Facebook page, wait a minute, wait a there's a lot of pictures of their sign, and it says closed. Where are they out of? They're in Alaska. You can have farms. I'm sorry. I this know. This is a very ignorant question. You can have farms in Alaska. For about three weeks out of the year, wow. you can grow things. Wow. Uh, no, this is four months old. Okay, I know. Light that. whiskey. There's permafrost. Now, are keep you, in mind. Are you farming the permafrost? <laughs> yeah. Keep in mind, light whiskey, remember, is whiskey distilled higher than the uh, uh, maximum allowed by law for distilling whiskey, right. like bourbon and rye and malt, sure. uh, but under vodka. Okay. Right? Sure. And so you're distilling out a lot of the flavor profile stuff. You, you are. Now, you said this is light whiskey. Mm -hmm. What's surprising to me, it's not, the, it's not the, the presence of the alcohol. That's very present. It's the presence of the flavor. Yeah. Because usually when you get in like the light whiskey territory, um, even whenever something, in, in my experience, even when something is aged a meaningful amount of time, it's hard to really get the flavors in there whenever it's just, you know, distilled in that way. We had a 13-year-old... Light whiskey, right? It was so vanilla, so simple, so basic after 13 freaking years. I thought I discovered a bottle mistake that TTB approved. What does that say to you? What's the proof on that? 107? Yeah. yeah. That's what I saw. Right. Then look at what the proof says. 80. Percent alcohol, 107. No, it's not. Look at it closer because of the font. 40%. Oh, that is a weird font. Dude. Yeah, that freaked me out. 107% alcohol. How can you even do that? That's a weird font. That's more than 100% alcohol. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's just broke science. Yeah, that's dramatic. You see, yeah, you see what I mean by the Even point? for a light whiskey. Yes, it's, no, especially for a light whiskey. Here's the thing, the alcohol is going to be dramatic. Yeah. But the flavors that are coming through that are fighting past that presence of the alcohol. Here's the thing also is wow. it smells like new make. It's so young. It's four months old. It smells like you're drinking moonshine off the still. Mm, I would say directionally, yeah. 
there is a little bit of like this softer, more bulbous mustiness. Yeah. In in new. I don't new think make. that's the. Yeah, it is softened a little. Yeah. It's tamped down slightly. Oh, that's oh. So much. Oh. Hey, that's a much easier. <laughs> this reminds me of mead, of the honey mead that we've tried. That nose. It was a take no prisoners <laughs> nose. Yeah. The taste. Oh, let's like, be friends. Yeah, it comes a little, little. You know what you know it reminds me of? It reminds me of, isn't it, Munster's Inc., where you see these like terrifying looking, but they're actually like little teddy bears? Yeah. Yeah. It's like the nose on this is like, I take no prisoners. And then when you sip it, it's like, hey. Yeah, that's adorable. Let's play, let's play house. I'm going to eventually, <laughs> eventually it gets to, if you just, you know, after, mm -hmm. after the sip, eventually it gets to this just vanilla finish. Yeah. Now go to the next one where they said, I'm assuming it's a stout, hoodoo stout. Mm -hmm. We told like on the taste though. Because we both just, just what happened. Oh. We both simultaneously went, oh. oh. And it's like, oh, that's surprising. It's, no, it's, I said it tastes like a honey mead. Mm. That's what I'm getting, like a grainy honey. Grainy. Also, like a little bit of a beery maltiness in there. Yes. Yeah. And then that finishes in vanilla eventually. Yeah. Eventually. All right, now smell the next one. Are you ready? Yeah. Whoa. Even more take no prisoners. Oh, oh what is... <laughs> I am not a fan of that nose. Hold on. Hold on. Funky adventure. This is five months old. Okay. This is funky. Yeah. Wow, what is it? This is... I don't know, man. This is like a funky herb, man. Mm-hmm. Funky herb. Skunkweed. <laughs> it is... It is... It is almost wow. skunky. Wow. Almost. It's not skunky. It's no. It's not skunky. No. But, but it's so it's giving you a head funky. a head fake towards skunky. Oh, oh, oh! That taste matched the nose. <laughs> okay, I'm setting those aside. Well, hold on. I don't hold know on. what that is. Hold on, man. Hang on. You always want to rip, like pull the ripcord and bail. No, no. As soon as something gets weird, I, I got, just want to dive in. I've got and other things bask, to try. Bask in the exotic splendor. No, what the hell is going on in this glass? It started in honey. And then switched into sour milk. <laughs> That's what happens. Sour milk. Take that sip again. Remember, I used to do milk judging in high school. You know who else that did? That note you know who is else sour did? milk. You know who else did? Milk judging? Yes. Who? Napoleon Dynamite. Did he? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. This, this cow that's got funny. into an onion patch. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And that's exactly what you're judging in a milk judging con. It went straight from sweet honey into sour milk. That is, I need some water. I kind of like it, man. <laughs> of course, of course. I, I, again, we've established this. Things that just go really off axis and weird and funky. I have, my sensibilities really appreciate that. Yeah, mine do not. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do next the wheat. No, I'm not saying it's intrinsically pleasant. I'm just saying I, I appreciate that it exists because it's so unique and different. All right, I can't, they don't, the perforation on these seals you make, is non-existent. Here, I got the scoot ski. Scoot key. So, words. Uh, this is their wheat and it's 18 months old. Do we have any water here? Yeah, right, uh, right there. Are you trying to show your athletic prowess? That's about all I got. Yeah. <laughs> That's... You, what? Did you? <laughs> I just did that challenge where you clip something and it unspins the bottle <laughs> by accident. I've always been tempted to do that, but I never got comfortable with how much I'm gonna have to clean up whenever I just Shatter, knock it yeah. all off the table. Oh, look, and look, the lid's totally shattered on this thing. Huh. How is that? Well, it's because shipping guys were rough. Okay, ooh. Well, you know what? Yeah, this is no good. I'm gonna have to use a cork for that now. You know what, you know what though? Hmm. We're on the other end of the spectrum from where we just were. Oh, that's nice. It's it's still a little grain funk, but it's sweeter and no, no, no. prettier. It's a, it's a grain sweet agricultural. I don't know if I would say not funk. Yeah. Must. Yeah. It actually yeah, smells yeah, yeah. like yeah. grain. There you go. There yeah. You go. Oh yeah. Sweet grainy. It's still musty, but it's floral. Nice. Got some floral notes in there. Well, it's eighteen months old. They let this one go a little longer. Yeah. I really like that. Eighteen months. Mm -hmm. That's still pretty young. Right? Mm hmm. And it may be because what oh. I had previously. <laughs> I like that one too. Yeah. Um, I probably could have had a lot of things after the one we just yeah. had. And, and feel be like, like, oh, this is really good. It's definitely a step up. Yeah. Wow, I can't find a cork that will fit this thing. 
It doesn't look particularly wide. I know. It's just a weird... It didn't have yeah, I'm gonna have to do it. that later. All okay, right. anyway, the weed is actually kind of pretty. Saran so wrapping a rubber band, man. Mm -hmm. oh. But there's this... I like that one. Yeah, me too. I'm going, there's, there's a spiciness a, to it. I think it's like a cinnamon spice. Yeah. Cinnamon, like a bready cinnamon spice. Yeah. Yeah. Floral, bready, bready almost turns into like the uh, the the grain mustiness. All right, since yeah, we have them, that's nice. I'm gonna get a new glass for all the rare whiskeys today. Oh. So this one is the rye. Mm -hmm. They call this Raven Rye Whiskey, grown, malted, and distilled right. in Alaska. I really like to see an Alaskan farm. Like I'm sure my like it's it's like Texas, right? When people think Texas, they think of Old West movies and these big rock canyons and the shootouts. It's like, damn. Well, Montana and Wyoming look like what people think Texans look like. Right. So I have this. If you talk to Texans. I have this image of Alaska in my head. And I know it's inaccurate, right? I just don't know why. Is it's it Call of the Wild? <laughs> <laughs> it's Jack London? Yeah, yeah. You know what I almost got on those? I almost got IPA. Oh. I almost oh, got IPA. yeah. That is IPA. You don't like IPA. I hate IPA. Man, I want to go back to the wheat whiskey. That's very much like an IPA nose, man. So this is 12 months old. Wow. Almost like, almost a soy sauce, savory IPA nose. Yes. Wow. Yeah, IPA mixed with soy sauce. Wow. Interesting. Oh. It's Once again. Less so on the taste. The taste is more mild. Yeah, and are we doing the 40%? Mm. Yep, 80 proof. It's more, I'm tasting the rye for the first time. I'm finding- But you have to really spread it out. I'm finding the cinnamon more so than the rye spice. That nose I really dislike. Yeah, again, these are, these are a couple of, you know, in, in the lineup we had, uh, very dramatic head figs yeah. with the nose versus the taste. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's weird. But interesting stuff, man. All right. Okay, yeah. so, um, I don't know, man. Super interesting. I think if I was trapped in a long winter in Alaska, right, I could fall in love with some of these. Oh, like, like specifically this one right here. Though. Yeah, the wheat. Oh, yeah. The wheat. I would come back for the wheat every time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, interesting stuff coming out of Alaska. Who knew? <sighs> I'll read a book somewhere. Don't worry about it. I'll read something, something. Now, just in case you're wondering, because of the isolation in the world right now, okay. Rex and I are living in here. Yes, we We've are. We've been quarantined to the vault. <laughs> they're sitting they're, they're creeping food through the door <laughs> in small increments. You know, I had a very wildly inappropriate joke. It is too soon. It but is. As, but as deep introverts, yeah. right? <laughs> I had this thought. You merely adopted the social distancing. Yes. I was born to it. That's right. <laughs> We've been preparing for this moment <laughs> our entire lives. <laughs> All right. Thank you for the whiskeys. Yes. I feel like a, an explorer whenever we get into things this Yeah, unique. thank you, Mike. Yes, thank you very much. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may I fight for a friend. Steal me, steal your lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us.